Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we're going to learn about 10 signs someone likes you more than a friend. Now let's begin. Number one, the romantic lens. Do they get mad about the smallest things? Let's say you and your friend are planning to get lunch. Your friend seems excited to spend time alone together, but at the last minute, you get called into work and you have to cancel. Now most of the time, your friends will understand and forgive you. Sometimes life gets in the way, but love can make you a little sensitive. In this case, your friend gets mad. They blow up in your face, or maybe they get sad and distant. Either way, their harsh reaction is motivated by emotional attachment. They were really looking forward to spending time with you. In their mind, that lunch may have felt like a date. So when you canceled, they felt rejected. This fear of rejection is a very common sign of romantic interest. This comes from a 2018 study in the Psychological Bulletin. When you have romantic feelings for someone, you view each interaction through a romantic lens. You worry what they really think of you. You overanalyze their words and actions because you're searching for some sign that they like you more than a friend. Now, naturally, when something goes wrong, it feels like a disaster. Canceling an outing, for example, may stir up intense feelings of rejection and frustration. It feels like a sign that someone doesn't care about you as much as you care about them, and that realization can be painful. So pay attention to the way your friend frames your friendship. How important is your presence in their life? Do they think of you as a friend or something more? If your friend overthinks and overreacts, they may see your friendship through a romantic lens. Number 2. Gray Personalities Does your friend seem distant around you? Do they mute their personality and stop acting like themselves? Believe it or not, this is a big sign of romantic interest. This also comes from our 2018 study in the Psychological Bulletin. If your friend has feelings for you, their attitude may change almost like their colorful personality has been muted to shades of gray. But why is this happening? Because your friend likes you. They want you to see them as attractive, confident, and put together. But they don't want you to know how strong their feelings are, so they try to play it cool. They remain distant, carefree, and independent. They're trying to bring out their strengths and hide their weaknesses. But in reality, they're tuning out the best parts of their personality. Now, don't take this the wrong way. Your friend isn't pulling away from you. They're not suddenly disinterested in your friendship. In fact, it's just the opposite. They're changing their personality because they want you to notice them. They may also change the way they dress, speak, or communicate. They do these things because they want to show the best version of themselves. Number 3. Subject Discomfort Dating may be a taboo subject with your friend. For the most part, you can talk about anything. But as soon as romance enters the conversation, the atmosphere takes a turn for the worse. So where does this tension come from? You both feel awkward because you know deep down that you have chemistry with each other. Maybe you've never expressed how you feel, but chances are you've thought about it. You've wondered, and your friend probably has too. That suspicion creates all kinds of uncomfortable tension. You never want to cross that bridge because neither one of you knows how the other one feels. No one wants to be the first person to put themselves out there, so you avoid the subject altogether. So how do you know if there's tension in your dynamic? Just think about how you interact with your other friends. Do you feel awkward talking about your dating life with them? Probably not, but you do with this person, so if this sounds familiar, they may see you as more than a friend. Number 4. Constant Invitations does your friend invite you to everything? If your friend is interested in you, they'll want to spend more time with you. They'll go out of their way to have experiences with you, because each experience gives you to a new opportunity to connect. All right, maybe it's something simple, like inviting you to a concert, but it's the gesture that counts. That invitation symbolizes a deeper interest in you. By inviting you to something, they're creating an opportunity to get to know you better to be alone together, to develop your dynamic, and to find your chemistry. Now, this is even more important if your friend picks things with you in mind. Do they invite you to places you've talked about before? Do they pick activities that match your interests? This shows that they care about you. They want to explore your passions. They want to see you in your element when you're confident and comfortable. Now, you may think, 
they're only being nice, but they're not just being nice. They want to get closer to you. Number five, couple jokes. Do your friends make fun of you too? Do they act like you're already dating? Your friends are wiser than you think. Chances are they're seeing things that you're not. Sometimes you need an outside perspective to pick up on the chemistry between you. Your friends can give you that perspective. They'll notice when someone's flirting with you, and they'll tell you when you're flirting back. Yeah, they may be joking around, but your friends may be onto something. Now, in some cases, your friends know more than you realize. Your potential partner may have confessed their feelings to them. They may have hinted at their intentions with you. So your friends are trying to play matchmaker. They may nudge the two of you together because they know something you don't. It's tempting to laugh and roll your eyes, but there's more meaning behind those jokes than you think. Number six, personal flirting. What kind of person are they? Polite and reserved, traditional and controlled, spontaneous and outgoing. If you wanna know how your friend feels about you, you need to understand their personality because your personality changes the way you flirt. For some people, aggressive physical flirting is a sign of attraction. For others, good manners and deep conversation are far more meaningful. This comes from a 2015 study by Jeffrey Hall. Hall and his research team analyzed the way people show interest in each other. He discovered that your flirting style depends on your views, values, and personality. If, for example, traditional men use open and friendly body language to show interest, traditional women, on the other hand, close themselves off and play hard to get. Their body language looks entirely different, but both personalities are showing the same romantic interest. So to see if your friend is interested, get to know their personality and their view on relationships. Think about their past partners. Think about how they interact with their friends and what values they cherish. Step into their shoes, because some signs may be more meaningful than you think. Number 7. Daily Discussion How often do you talk to each other? Once a week? Every few days? Maybe every single day? When someone's interested in you, they'll find every reason to talk to you. They'll text you good morning and good night. They'll ask you random questions, and they'll ask about boring moments in your life because they want to interact with you. Even if you have nothing to talk about, they'll find reasons to keep the conversation going. Most people don't discuss the little details in their life. You don't tell people about your trip to the grocery store, about the funny little things you saw on TV. But if someone is interested in you, that's the kind of stuff they want to know. It may not seem important, but each little detail builds a bigger picture of you as an individual. Number 8. Romantic Questions Sometimes love is a taboo subject when someone likes you, but not always. Some people lean the opposite direction. They start probing around, hoping to find out more about your status in history. For example, they may ask you questions about your past relationships. They may wonder what your type is or ask you what you look for in a partner. Your friend is asking these questions because they want to embody your answers. They're hoping to be the kind of person you're looking for, so these questions give them an idea of what you like. Number 9. Beyond Personal When someone is interested in you, they'll dive below the surface. They'll get to know more about you, your interests, your passions, and most importantly, the people you care about. If someone likes you, they'll make an effort to bond with your loved ones. They'll insist on meeting your family. They'll be excited to hang out with your friends. They may worry about making a good impression because they know how important these people are to you. They care about what your friends and family think because friends and family are an essential part of any relationship. If someone wants to meet your loved ones, they may see you as more than a friend. Number 10. Meaningful Surprises do they plan surprises for you? Do they organize new adventures or buy you things for no reason? Surprises big and small are a sign of romantic interest. A good surprise is more than just thoughtful, it's an important gesture that takes planning, initiative, and enthusiasm. They've taken the time to consider your preferences and then plan something you might like. So don't let these surprises go unnoticed. Whether it's a tiny gift or a huge adventure, surprises show you that they care about you. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.